So welcome guys, this is my first tutorial and it's gonna be a fun one because we are gonna talk about a problem that I faced when in one of these days when I was trying to export an FBX file from Maya to Nuke I found some problems so I'm gonna discuss about that so let me first create a first scene in Maya okay I created it I'm gonna not gonna like name it uh, so here's my new scene and let's do some animation so that we could export something or some any kind of content as an FBX file so I'm gonna create a plane I'm gonna size it yes I'm sizing it I'm sizing it resizing or scaling it let's increase the scale yes something like this okay then let me also create a cube so that we could use it as an reference thing for reference just gonna scale it a little bit so okay okay then we have this thing build it up something goes under never mind that thing okay then let's now create a camera so that we could use that camera to do all of jumps I mean and things in nuke so I have created this camera I'm going to size it a little bit more and I'm gonna move it and by hitting space I've moved on to a new workspace stop you I'm gonna place the camera somewhere somewhere around here um, okay then and now as I'm gonna select my camera and with my slider this thing on the first frame I'm gonna hit S so it sets this sets a key and on zone like on the set fifth frame I'm also gonna set a key yes so when I play the animation the camera moves right it's a good thing if you need rotation what should you do? So I'm gonna go to the 75th frame. I'm gonna hit E. I'm gonna do a small angle. You can see this is our reference cube. This is the camera. So I've done that. Again, I'm gonna hit S. So if I have done it correctly, I may get the output right. Okay, you could see it working well. Okay then, mm -hmm. let's move the queue a little bit to the back, okay. Now let's expose the scene. So first, I'm going to talk about what happened during the expo. The thing was, in nuke you go in nuke and try to type in camera get a camera and in here in the file section if you hit, hit read from file and press this thing you can load a file actually I'm gonna use an FBX file for this you can use that as your cameras information of content I think it is you can use it your file as that so we need a file to work with that so first I'm gonna export the camera
with all the animation. So in file, in Maya, I've clicked file, export selection, in my computer, is my place, and I'm gonna um, export it as FBX. The thing is, by default, if you are unable to see anything in here, just under file type, specific options, and you get this thing. And if you go under advanced options, and you get this thing, and you have FBX file format. If you click that, you get this thing, the version of the FBX export type. So I'm gonna save it uh, of the newest version of FBX 2018. This is my 2018. So I'm gonna type in test one. Actually, cam test one export selection. Okay, then I've exported it. So let's import that thing in nuke. So, nuke, I'm gonna find that. Okay, here is it cam test one dot fbx. I'm gonna open that and you give this. Warning signal or oh, message that are you sure you want to read the camera from the file and destroy the current camera data? Click yes. Okay, for see your animation and all the 3D stuff in you, you have to hit move from this to your viewer or your screen. I mean, the black thing here and hit tap. So you have moved to the 3D space so I'm gonna hit R hold on alt right click and I'm gonna do this like already and all the things move towards the camera you can see this uh, camera had to take the information right you see if I uncheck this you could see it has this all kinds of you can move this thing in the 3d space and if I check it again yes and nothing happens in Maya your camera was like at a position different from the origin these points origin points actually meet so they make sense in my menu they have seen okay um now you could see the problem that i was facing the thing was when i started to import i uh, actually I did it for a camera projection um had this problem the camera didn't take the fbx format that we had exported why did it happen so i was just thinking for like half an hour didn't get the answer. The next day, I tried everything and lost. Da -da -da -da, I found the problem. The problem was that when we exported the selection, if you go to file, export selection, in file type specific options, on, and you can see advanced option. If you change FBX 2018 to FBX 2014, Oh, 2015 and export it and now if you import the file in you for your camera here is it cam test2.fbx if I open that up yes now you can see that the camera had moved that's a good thing but doesn't have the animation that we had from Maya this thing 
Does it have that? We don't know. So we're gonna test that out. So thrill space and nuke. And you can see that the camera is correctly aligned. See, it had moved from the origin to a space to a place around here. The same way you can see it in Y. So now if I play the camera moves. Isn't that a good thing? Yes. So guys, this is the problem that I was talking about. So I have also made I did make this thing right. This this thing. I'm just gonna combine that. And I'm gonna export that too as an FPX 2014 15 version file. And I'm gonna hit Reference for cam two selection. I actually like naming things. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, um, let's hit tab in nuke and type in regio and. If I click on this icon and find my file, and if I open, here is it. Everything aligns so perfectly, you don't have to make a change. So now, If I hit play, you can see the animation happening, right? The camera moves, taking this cube as a reference, you got the plane, everything. And you have to also take care of that. If you were trying to export this mesh as FBX to the thing that I was talking about, export it as the 2014-15 version because I have worked with 2016 and 17 and in my opinion it didn't work so use that too export this read geo file or the geo file or the mesh file as 2014-15 FBX file so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook. See you guys the next time. I'll be coming up with new and improved versions of my tutorial. And see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.